going on guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Christine I'm the owner of tiny house of vintage and today I wanted to make a video going through the step-by-step -step process of reading your first listing so to list your first item I'm gonna go up here to sell and then all I like to do is browse categories you want to find the item that you want to sell and find the category so I primarily sell women's clothing but you just you could type in here like the item that you are just describe what you're selling so I'm going to be selling a sweatshirt so it'll give you like just categories clothing shoes and accessories women women's clothing activewear and click on that and this is your listing draft you just want to make sure that the category is correct if not you can change it i have made a video already on my photo setup i will link that in the description below so what i like to do first is i like to I'm going to upload the photos. So basically you want to take the front, the back, you want to take any up close photo detail. I take a picture of the fabric tag and then the picture of the measurements. So when it's uploaded it looks like this and I'm going to edit the photo. So here's your editing tools. I like to make them square as best as possible. So I'll edit it and then I'll flip it and click save. Probably edit it even more. The details. So just go and edit all your photos. If you're taking your photos on an iPhone or like a camera, you can use square mode. I like to list all my stuff on my computer. Kind of old school. I'm not really fond of the eBay app. So if you take pictures on your phone, you can just download them to your computer and list on your computer. I find it a lot easier, but just find what's best for you. So up here in the title, so in the title I would write Vintage 70s Snoopy Woodstock Cowboy Sweat Shirt. I'm gonna write large. Right here, you could go into your store and put categories. So that's what that is. You can add categories to your store. The C code, I do not. Condition, make sure you check the correct condition. This is a pre-owned item. So for the brand, it's usually whatever the tag says. So this is an Artex, size large. For color, you want to be very descriptive with the color because people can put disputes out on you for something as silly as color. So if it was solid red, I would put red, but since it's not solid red, I'm going to put multicolor. So down here you can just fill in these descriptive words, fill in as much as possible as you can. So for this, I'm just going to pick long sleeves, you can put like the fabric content if you want, cotton blend. So for the description, I've created a Google Doc. And I put my description in there. And I put my store policies. I've written this up and I've been using this for a long time. So I just copy that and I paste this. So I put my measurements again. It's in the photos, so it's just easy to pull from that. So the pit's pit is 22 inches. And the length is about 26 and a half. Makes listing super easy. You don't have to carry around a notebook. Don't have to write anything. Just take the photo. That's the easiest I've found. And then also you can write like people have allergies. So I just say smoke free, pet free. And then I write like no rips, tears, or stains. If it does have any rips, tears, and stains, I will mention it in the listing I will show an up close photo of it just be as upfront about and honest about the item as you can so buyers are happy so you just want to go over and make sure everything looks good what I like to do is I like fixed price every item I do is fixed price and I'll put buy now because I don't like waiting for people to pay you can do whatever you want you can pick auction 
you can pick buy now, you can click the best offer and allow people to offer you prices. And then you can negotiate back and forth. I currently do not do that in my business model. And to price things, you can go on and you can like research comps on how to list and price things and find comps. This is a rare item. So I don't really know what the marker's gonna bear. I've seen stuff on Etsy for like $250. It's from the, the graphic is from 1965. Well, you can see an upper close picture of it. It's 1958 to 1965 Snoopy graphic on a 70s hoodie. So I am gonna list it for $98. Most vintage stuff is long tail items. Most rare pieces are long tail. So that's why I can mark things up to that and just wait for the right buyer to come along. So I'm gonna click here, PayPal, and just type your email address in, whatever your email, your PayPal email address is. I click require, required immediate payment with buy it now. So for shipping, you can offer free shipping. So what I find is if it's a light item, and which is under one pound, it can go first class. To just do your research with shipping, if you want to make it really easy and it can get one of those padded flat rates, padded flat rates are close to $8 now, so you can just charge a flat rate fee to your buyers of $8 if that helps. Um, you can do under five, you do 550 flat rate, do what works for you. And I do have a video on shipping and the stuff that I use, and I'll link that video below. For this, I'm going to choose, just do a padded flat rate envelope under three days, make it $8. So you want to pick your handling time. So I do one business day, which so if someone buys it today, I have till tomorrow at five o'clock whenever the post office closes to ship it out and upload tracking information. So that's what one business day means. Saturdays and Sundays are not a business day on eBay. So I ship out every day. So one business day is usually what I pick. I do not do international shipping. So if you do want to do international shipping, you might want to find someone on YouTube or look, look for someone who can help you with that or even call eBay and they'll walk you through it. I do not do international shipping right now. You can pre-weight and everything. You can do that right here. I do not pre-weight things. Just makes my life a little easier. So just check everything. And if you do miss something, when you click list, it will make you go back and do the thing that you forgot. So let's just, let me just click list item. If it says success, you've listed your first item for sale. So you can click on here to check out the listing. And this is what it looks like. And if you did mess up or anything or you noticed something that you didn't like or you want to edit it, you can just click revise your item. You can just edit it. Or if you want to list another item, which is what I do, I always click sell similar, even if it's not the same category, just to keep my template. So I'll just click sell similar. And I'll keep everything the same. So then I just go in and edit everything. But I like to keep my my template the same. So I'll just edit like the length and the pit the pit if and these the dimensions. And then I'll just edit everything. And if it's not this sweatshirt, the next thing I'm adding, you can just change category and do it that way. So up here it says I have one active. So this will show you where your items are. So once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. That is the step-by-step -step process on how to create your first listing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll get back to you. I hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up if you have. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.